Okay guys, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of this Mini Z uh, monster truck. So, I had a version before. Uh, this is obviously the 2.4 gigahertz version. The other one was a 27 uh, megahertz one. I'm not a real fan of that one. So, but anyway, I got it because of the body shell. There were two X5 body shells with it and they were worth a lot of money. So I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna get them and I'll get the truck with it. I was, gonna I was planning on upgrading the system inside it to a 2.4 hertz version because version but uh, when this came along in the UK it wasn't amazingly expensive and I only ever saw one come up so I thought you know what I'm gonna go for it so right I'm gonna use it for videos I'm gonna do when monster trucks go mad it's gonna be driving off all these cars that you see in the background <laughs> okay right so it's saying here there's basically been a million of these sold and it is pay and play basically you open it put your batteries in and enjoy and I think it should be a lot better um, that it's 2.4 gigahertz guys I've never really been a fan of the old system and there it is I would have preferred if they had I mean people like Matt Black I'm not a fan of Matt Black mm. if it had come with chrome blue or candy uh, red purple that would have smashed it but all right maybe I can spray it I do like the wheels um, it's basically an overland with big wheels <laughs> that's what it looks like to me and these little side rail bits should be four wheel drive if it's a true, true uh, off road event. Alright, let's have a look. So just drive it, your heart beats fast, okay. Not that in love with it. This is the RC car, and on here they said that this is the difference you're going to feel between a toy car and a hobby car. Proportional steering, the same. It's like driving a real car. And the bodies and wheels, you can change it for a whole new look. Uh, it's ready to run, just got to install your batteries, and you're good to go. Fits in the palm of your hand, which is pretty cool because it is in scale with the rest of the cars that I've got here so it does fit in the videos you can fine tune it to hit more speed and it goes to 25 kilometers an hour you can get it faster trust me <laughs> finished in stunning detail no it's not black so but the rest of it was all right uh, and basically uh, this is the standard in cool RCs all right so let's crack this little bad boy open have a look at it inside and if I get a chance guys I'm gonna run it as well so you guys can see uh, what the performance is like because I don't know man I'm I, I like my mini Z's but I'm not just a fanboy yeah so and I, I'm not gonna do blooming you know <sighs> unboxings and reviews for the sake of it and just to hype up the company because I buy their other stuff if I don't rate it I don't rate it I'll tell you straight guys there's no foam in them tires whatsoever <laughs> tell you straight away so I don't know what's going on there Okay, <laughs> let's start off with, let's go to the remote first, put this little bad boy over there. Alright, save your boxes guys if you ever sell your stuff on, <laughs> save all your boxes. Alright, so it seems to be well packaged. <laughs> One of my videos I opened, um, I opened up the blooming box and the remote fell out, which there's no danger of that happening here seems to be well packaged guys all right this is the asf 2.4 gigahertz remote which isn't the prettiest thing you've ever seen in your life it doesn't stand on its own it'll fall straight over and uh yeah how on earth do you get into this this is like the crypton factor guys dude where on earth is it all right <laughs> tip off and it opens from the top all right this should just slide out, <laughs> or fall out in my case. Okay, you can buy a stand to put on these so they actually stand up, but they don't. So they give you this, this docky little stand to put on so it stands like that. <laughs> but you can buy a proper stand for it to stand like that. But apart from that, it doesn't, you've got to lie down somewhere. All right, it's pretty cool. I prefer the responsiveness on these compared to the KT19. And the new remote they brought, I don't like it at all because it just feels like a bit of plastic that you get from a toy car that you get from normal shops. Okay. So, sorry, KT19. This is the KT18 version. Right, so that's basically that. They're doing the core propo stuff. They moved away from them, set up their own, and this is their stuff. And it's a bit weird, but yeah. Okay, blue light comes on. Ooh, shaky noises. Better not be broken. Got this from RC Geeks in the UK. Then you had one. And here you've got, what well, basically in this package, guys, you've got your wrench for your wheels, you've got your binding pairing stick, you've got some pinion gears to change out, and a probably motor mount as well. And I'm going to have to open this because 
you have got your battery holder in here as well. So, I don't know, do you guys want to really see this stuff? I mean, it's looking amazing. You can just see it all there. It's not really mind blowing, it's really basic stuff. I'm just worried about doing long unboxings, guys, because I don't like watching. That's the got <laughs> the doggy thing that you put in over here somewhere. <laughs> it is so doggy, honestly. Alright. Oh, where did it go? Where does it go? It goes over here. What? Right, I'm gonna, I'll put that in afterwards, yeah? I'll put that in afterwards, but it is so dorky, man. Anyway, so, batteries go here. Quick release, James Bond style. Uh, put your batteries in, push it up. That's your on button, and obviously there's your trims here. Okay. Okay, right. That's the remote. Let's have a wee look at the car. I, you know me guys, I'm a sucker for chrome and for deep dish wheels, and this has got both. Alright, is this one the best out there? <gasps> Screws! Oh, I'm gonna go find a screwdriver. Oh, and we've got one close by. Okay, right, then we get a screwdriver. I'll be back. Okay guys, got my screwdriver. End up with the longest screwdriver in the world. It's all good, alright. So, I'm trying to screw this without it all falling to bits. So basically, in the Mini Z's, you just have these holders, uh, which are like a plastic wrap. And in the all-wheel drive cars, Overland, and now the monster trucks, you have screws in the bottom, which basically hold the chassis in place so it doesn't rock about. Why aren't you coming out? Um, in the shell, the display case. <laughs> You know, I got an Overland and I was brand new to Overland, so I didn't really know how this came out. But, <laughs> we're on the same problem again. Right, okay. Alright, so it's got, alright, they've got a plastic tie here as well. So, alright, let's have a quick look at this. Let's have a look at this little bad boy. It does have the monster truck look, yeah. But the one thing that, you know, I've always been a little bit of a critic of is that it should be four-wheel drive. I think it is two-wheel drive. It does the same thing on the cover. It is just an overland, guys, basically. Except for this little trim here, little barrel thing there, body shell, wheels. It's an overland. I can't really see much difference. <clears throat> Let's see the body shell come up the same. I've never had one of these, well, not the newer versions anyway. So, is it a case of you pull the sides apart on the, I think it is. Yep, looks like it is. <sighs> Don't want to break it on my maiden, uh, maiden voyage. So guys, we'll get off camera, just make sure that no breaking spot. Right, okay, it's stuck to something. <laughs> right, <laughs> don't stop blowing coming off. Okay, this is a little tip for you guys if you buy one new. They have the plastic tie here. That's why the body shell's not coming off. So just unravel that, pull it off, da da, and there you go. All right, let's pull that through out of the body shell. Okay, that must have been a mission to get that there in the first place. Right, okay, get rid of that. Go to the body shell. And I think that is so bland. You might like it, I don't. I can put lights on, pull these little babies out, and they never come out easily enough. I've got glue in it, no one did not blooming come out, it's got glue in it. None on the back, so you can't really put lights on the back, that's a bit daft, but okay. And here we have. Oh, hey, it's two wheel drive, look at that wheel spinning. And the backs won't do that because they're obviously connected to the motor on the back here and these are just free spinning wheels so not really four wheel drive because that's the first minus I'll give it should be four wheel drive guys the other thing I'm not a fan of is the ride height uh, I think the okay so I managed to pull so to get this off you basically push it in together and then pull it apart and hopefully it should just come off there we go that's come off, and with a little bit of wiggling, 
This one should come off as well. Come on, you little beggar. Okay, this one wants to be awkward and not come off. Something holding it in place? Nope, not that I can see off. All right, so your battery compartments are here. So let me try to take my battery compartment off. Hopefully that thing should fall out. Nope, it's stuck in there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give it a bit of force, guys. And pull it out. Yeah, just need a bit of force. It's got a hook shape on it. So I just need to yank it out. So batteries go in here. They made it look like it's some kind of barrels on the side, but batteries fit there. That's different to the Overland. And then just clips back in. Come on, there you go. No oil fill shocks, and it's got that twisting kind of torsion kind of thing to it. No foam inside the tires. Sorry, I know it all sounds kind of negative here. I'm just straight, I'm telling you straight what. That's just the normal Overland motor. Um, it does have these kind of bars, tie bars, whatever they are, and. We'll see, we'll see. Servo doesn't feel very powerful either. Um, but it is a, a little bit more prettier than the 27 megahertz version. So, it just is an Overland, guys. You could convert an Overland to this. Save yourself some money. <laughs> Buy some big tyres, stick it on your Overland, and just get a funny chrome bumper to put on. <laughs> and some funny chrome bumper on the back. And you are good to go, because I can't see anything else that's different. And supposedly the wheelie, yeah, but if this is one of them that you've got to go reverse and forward to wheelie, that is so doo-doo. <laughs> Alright. I'm <laughs> sorry guys, uh, I'm just not out of the plug stuff. I'm not impressed, I'm not impressed. And out of the box, I'm not impressed. Okay. It may impress me when it drives, but I've got a funny feeling I can run some other uh, little trucks against this. And if you want to see that video, guys, and compare them, when it's winter time and you want to drive it indoors, you know, if you've got a few trucks, it's a good laugh. Make a little, uh, like an assault course, or even drive around the furniture in your house, and it's a real good laugh. So, I'm probably going to do one of them videos and compare it. And I've got a feeling that one of these cheap ones I've got from China, yeah, will smash this to bits. Because that's four-wheel drive and it's fast. So, okay. Um, I'm sure it's a great truck. <laughs> but I'm not impressed. Yeah. I mean, there's absolutely nothing in that tyre, man. I'm surprised it's not even glued on. <laughs> it's not... It is glued. It's not glued on. What the flip, man? It's not even glued. <laughs> okay, why did I buy this? <laughs> Keep the positive attitude, man. All right. Okay, so the body mounting, basically, you've got four holes. you got to line up with, up with these holes. And that's how you get it on. And then you gotta pull your body out a little bit to get it to fit. So get, it makes it a good idea to pull it out on one side. And then you're in. Okay, it's a bit lopsided. All right, okay. And ta-da, that's the Kyosho Mini Z. Great unboxing, go buy one. I'm not impressed. Look at the ride height, man. I mean, come on, they could have they could have had a better ride height. Could have had like had a TVP kind of chassis where you just, you know, have your bulkheads lower down, and this is really high up, so you got a bit more ground clearance. I know it's a bit of a toy, but they're making it like a hobby grade, and it's not. That's gonna get grounded on the first thing it hits. If that didn't have big wheels, it'd get grounded on everything. Okay, it may. It may surprise me guys, but at the moment I don't think it's going to surprise me, but yeah. Uh, for the price that they're asking for, for that, I'm not really that impressed. Mini Z's love them to bits guys, yeah. I just love them man, you can't, you can't romp with that man, that's amazing bit of kit, yeah. Love it. But, <sighs> this monster truck, I'm not too sure about. So, I, I just wanted to try out what else, what other um, platforms Mini Z's do. Um, that's one of the reasons I got it. But yeah, okay. So let's put you over here. You can be the king. And that's basically it, guys. So, um, yep, if I can get time to put a running video up, I will do that. All right. And yeah, we'll put, we'll stop it there. I'll put it on the display case so you can see 360 
Um, but yeah, out of the box, I'm not really that impressed. Yeah, I do prefer the fact that it's gone up to 2.4 gigahertz. But I can see that there's a lot of flaws in there. The compound of the tyre isn't amazingly soft and grippy. So I don't know how it's going to do on gradients. It doesn't have great height for ground clearance so that you can get lodged on stuff. There's no oil full shocks. It's rear wheel drive so you're going to be limited to what you can get over. And that, that motor is just something that comes inside Mini Z's and the Overland platform. Um, I don't like the body shell. <laughs> what do I like? <laughs> 2.4 gigahertz? That's basically it. If I designed a monster truck it would have been a lot different. It would have had some really good ground clearance. It would have had some really soft uh, compound on the tyres. I would have had some foam inside it as well. It would have been four-wheel drive. You can do these, you can upgrade a four-wheel drive, but why would you want to do that? Why would you want to spend extra money on it when I mean, you spent enough in the first place? Why would you want to do that? Because you can just go buy a 10 scale stuff. I've got loads of off-wheel, you know, off-road trucks. You don't really spend money on this. It should have oil in the shocks. It doesn't have oil in the shocks. Um, so, yeah, that's where we are with that. <laughs> That must be probably the worst unboxing anyone's ever done of a <laughs> Kyosho Magnesium Monster Truck. But I'm just being straight, guys. I don't bull you. I'm not impressed. Straight. If it drives and it has the power to launch a wheelie yeah, from standstill, uh, you know what? I'm impressed. I don't think it can. I don't think it's got that kind of power. I think it was one of them budget reverse and go forward kind of jobs. But yeah. But anyway, check out my other babies. <laughs> This is what I respect Mini Z Kyosho's for because they do some sick cars. Honestly, they've got some crazy. I mean, you've got a Fast and Furious kit all over there. Um, but yeah, they've got some uh, amazing machines, man. I mean, that looks like. And if you haven't checked out my vids, guys, go out and check out my Kyosho Mini Z race vids because, um, yeah, man, they look pretty cool. So, alright. I'm going to get on the display stand, have a look at it. We'll take it from there, and if I do get some running footage, I will put it on there. Um, but yeah, so ta da! Kyosha Mini Z monster truck that I'm not impressed with. But this should have really brought it out as a four wheel drive, guys. Come on, man, how long have they been doing this platform? Two wheel drive, anyway, it's easy to criticize, guys. But so we'll stop there and uh, yeah, watch the other vids that are gonna come up, watch the race vids that are gonna come up, and I'll be doing more outside stuff, more big scale stuff. Okay, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, guys, hit the subscription and the notification bell. And we are good to go on these vids, guys. Thank you very much. See ya.